Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today I'm going to be attempting to do a pearl pour whereby I'm going to be putting metallics down and then covering them with black paint and what happens in the process of that paint going over the top of the metallics, they should then bring up lots of beautiful pearls in those metallics. I've only done one of these before, so this is a bit of an experiment. Um, so I'm just doing this on the usual thing. I know I do a lot of tiles, but the reason is because I like to then resin them and use the small tiles as coasters um, and these bigger tiles as trivets. So they just make lovely gifts. So that's why I've been doing those a bit. So I hope you're not sick of them, but just think of it as a canvas if you're um, not liking the fact that I'm doing so many tiles. Okay, so... The colours I'm going to use today, I'll tell you as I'm going, but they're all um, metallics, um, as in bronze, copper, I've got penny loafer, and I've got a couple of golds as well. And I'm going to be covering them today with the global black paint. Now, the paint that I'm putting over the top is very thin, so that when you drizzle it back into the paint, it just runs in without leaving any sort of a, um, a trace. So it needs to be very thin over the top of the thicker paints. So we're just going to see how we go. Um, I'll start laying the paints down and um, let's see what happens. Have a little bit of an experiment today, a bit of fun. So the first one I'm putting down is the Araldo bronze, metallic bronze. So I'll just start basically in the middle. I need a fair bit of paint all together. Next is the Montmartre rose gold, pouring paint rose gold. Then we have the Araldo Metallic Copper. Followed by Araldo Penny Lofa, which is a beautiful metallic chocolatey brown sort of color. I think that will look really nice when it comes up. Then I'm following that up with the Light Gold by Araldo, which is a really nice gold. Just into the middle. And as you can see, we've lost a bit of um, bronze that I first put down. It was probably because um, the paints coming over the top might have been a bit thinner and so they've just gone over the top of it which is why you need to make sure your paints are all the same consistency and I didn't check before I started um, so that's why that can happen sometimes so if the paints over the top are a bit thinner than the one underneath they will roll over the top which is what we're going to do in a minute anyway with the uh, black this is the pont, uh, pont Montmartre pouring paint gold bit of a mouthful there See the difference in that gold compared to the other one? That's why I love this Montmartre pouring paint gold so much. It is so much a true gold. And the one that we lost was the um, Araldo metallic bronze. So I'm just going to put some more of that in the center there. Now I'll just hit all of that with the heat tool just to burst those bubbles so I can see. That'd make a really cool flower, wouldn't it? Oh, I'd love to do that. Just, just going to try something for a sec. Just being a little distracted now. Wouldn't normally be doing this. And I'm trying to do a pearl pour. Well, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Might try one like this and then do a double dip. Or not a double dip, a reverse dip. Hmm, that's really pretty. Then you could do 
come out again like that. And then put a serviette over it and do a um, reverse flower dip. Anyway, I, I digress. So now I'm just going to get my global black. I'm going to be putting that over the top and hopefully it will go all over the top of it. Run over the top. And now I'm going to very quickly run that over to each corner. So the black will take it back to the middle, run it quickly over to the, this corner, back to the middle, over to the other side. Hopefully there's enough paint to get me all the way, back to the middle. And then the final side will run off. Now you can see all those pearls forming already around the edges there. So it's going to do exactly what it was supposed to. It's got to run it off this far side. And there we go. You can see all those beautiful pearls developing straight away. So I'll just put this on a cup. Wow. So mission achieved. Now those cells will continue to come up. Um, I'm going to hit it with the heat tool. That will help those to come up as well. It's going to be a really pretty trivet for someone that's got, you know, those nice coppers and golds, etc. in their kitchen. It would be lovely. So I'm just going to hit it with the heat embossing tool. Now those pearls will continue to um, come up over the next 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. So I'd say by the time we come back in 20 minutes, most of this will be covered in those little pearls or cells. So that was a great experiment, turned out nicely. And I'll be back in about 20 minutes to see what we've got. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so here we are about 20 minutes later. And as you can see, the cells have developed virtually everywhere, or pearls as people call them, except for that little corner there and a bit in the middle. But everywhere else, we've got these lovely gold and bronze and copper cells everywhere. And as you can see here, these guys have got beautiful gold around the outside edge of the copper and the bronze. And then we've got gold cells here with the copper and bronze as a little nuclei, I think they would call that. I have to check with my daughter, she's a scientist. One of my daughters. I have two daughters and two sons and a step son and a stepdaughter. So a real Brady bunch, my family. And here we go. There's some just developing. It'll be interesting to see if those ones actually come through in the end. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was a bit of an experiment and it worked out, which is always good when an experiment does work out. So um, hopefully you'll have a go at that, have the confidence to do so now you've seen it done. And I'll see you back here in the not too distant future. If you haven't subscribed and would like to, I would really appreciate it. Um, and so until I see you back here next, stay safe and uh, see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.